Morbius fever has taken over America. If you guys don't know, Morbius earned 4.8 trillion in the worldwide box office this weekend. That's 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 more than every other movie combined. <laughs> so Tyrese, if you guys don't know, uh, star of Fast and the Furious, is also in Morbius, and he saw this this real quote from Martin Scorsese that said, "I was aghast to find out it was based on a comic book." This is the truest height of cinema, and even I cannot top it. I apologize to all comic book movies. Mor Morbius sweep. And then Tyrese said, wow, wow, wow. I can't believe what just happened. Whoa. Cheers and hats off to you. This is so amazing, King. This is the king of kings of cinema, Martin Scorsese. This is huge. <laughs> and it's 100% real. Scorsese said it. Of course he did. Look at this real picture of him. Jared Leto pretending to be disabled. Wait, what? Jared Leto was so committed to playing Morbius that he used crutches and would slowly limp to the bathroom. Pee breaks started taking so long that a deal was made for him to use a wheelchair. <laughs> That's commitment! Do you understand? That's what other actors lack. I technically haven't seen it yet, but that doesn't preclude me from giving it an 11 out of 10 on every metric, okay? Technically, I haven't officially seen it in a theater, but I do 100% Give it an 11.5 out of 10. Best movie of all time. Saw Morbius tonight and there was only one other dude there. Took a pic and accidentally had fun. <laughs> so embarrassing. Holy shit. That's so embarrassing. He looks embarrassed to be there though. What's funny is the person taking the picture should be embarrassed, but he looks embarrassed. Uh, this happened to me. Not necessarily this exact thing, but I went to see King Arthur Legend of the Sword. Dude, this movie blew chunks. The entirety of this movie was about setting up like an Arthurverse. Every plot line was cut off almost immediately to like tease a future Arthur movie. But then this movie fucking flopped. It flopped and so they didn't make any of those movies. So there's no point. And I saw this movie because I was required to as part of my job at Twitch. It was a show called Fanboys on Twitch, hosted out of the Twitch offices with the late great uh, Jeff in Control Robinson. RIP to a great one where they would review pop culture and stuff. They sent me to go watch King Arthur <laughs> and, I, I, and I went alone. Ari wouldn't even go with me. Saw King Arthur alone last night to review for fanboys today. Like literally alone. The 730 showing for this bomb was entirely empty. There's me looking fucking goofy as hell. Be careful out there, everybody. I had two Morbius tickets in my car and someone broke in and left four more. <laughs> Mr. Beast responded and said, that's funny. Can I steal this joke? What a cosign. Now seated for Morbius. Hashtag Morbius sweep. And he's got a fucking can of baked beans. <laughs> God, I have to be here streaming when I could be at a theater watching a fucking late night screening of Morbius with a can of baked beans. <laughs> Buying 20 Morbius tickets so I can move freely throughout the screening to get the best angle. Shuffling around in the dark like the man himself. <laughs> Just watch Morbius and gosh, the tears in my eyes. The plot, the themes, the characters, the dynamics, the drama, the lore, the emotional moments. Everything was garbage from beginning to end. <laughs> On my way to the hospital, definitely the worst movie I've ever seen. Okay, so there's some good reviews, some bad reviews, okay? It was polarizing. Like all good art, it was polarizing. Russian bots. <laughs> Putin! Putin again, dude! When will he let up? <laughs> Morbius fever has gripped the nation. <laughs> okay, this is clearly after a showing. Everyone has immediately left so they can get on social media talking about how they love it. Jared Leto surprised the Morbius Discord community at an exclusive screening in Los Angeles. And this quote to me just says the Morbius Discord community. And it got 100,000 likes. <laughs> Jared Leto got interviewed by a VTuber for Morbius Press. And it's the most uncomfortable he's ever looked. Can we please get a video of this? There we go. Wow. Uh, hi. <laughs> My name is Hubaki Shirakami. Nice to meet you. Wow, it's so nice to meet you. You have a wonderful voice. Uh, I hope that uh, you, you sing some music sometime too. You sound great. I mean, look at the master at work right now. 
He's inhabiting the mind of Morbius. Even now in this press, he's showing us Morbius' discomfort with the modern world. Oh, I appreciate the question. And uh, you, 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 I, I love your character is so cute. Um, uh, and, and your outfit is great too. It almost looks like a Gucci outfit. It's uh, very, very nice. It's the very first time we're, we're putting this, this character on the big screen. So I'm excited to introduce Morbius to the world. Yeah, but- <laughs> you, didn't even, you didn't even listen to her question. Which I love, okay? What a great way to respond, to completely ignore the question altogether. Does that, does <laughs> that, um, do you have a tail or is that your hair in the back? Ah, hair and a tail. Wow. The best, <laughs> the best of both worlds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, breathe it in! Such a Woo! That's pure cringe in the veins. Character. Yeah, you inject that cringe right to the heart. Oh man, they don't make cringe that pure. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, brought it home. Slam dunk. Another morb sweep. You can tell by the reviews it has a 999% tomatometer. <laughs> but for some reason, the splat icon is still there. Still though, I mean, better than perfect is incredible. Literally broke the scale. I think it's what it is, it broke it. Once you go over 100%, it just it glitches out. They should have seen it coming though, honestly. If they watch any of the... The trailers, they should have known they were dealing with a cinematic masterpiece like it's never been seen. 70%? No, no. That's the percentage of the audience that survived this showing. 30% died from shock at seeing the best movie they've ever seen. I didn't watch Morbius. I sat my white ass down and listened. <laughs> yes! This is the movie we need in this divided times. If there's anything that can heal the racial divide in this country, it's Jared Leto not wearing a shirt dressed like a vampire. When someone asked me how many tickets Morbius is selling. Somewhere between 700 billion and a trillion, 300 million, billion, somewhere between. <laughs> well said, Biden. Indeed, it will be between those two numbers, I'm sure. <laughs> Pipe containing one trillion tickets. <laughs> And the crumbs are going to Sonic too. <laughs> and it's like a best tweets day, but we're only looking at Morbius. While I technically haven't seen it and technically won't see it, technically, I am very proud of Morbius, what have they accomplished?